The first armed United Nations peacekeepers were sent to the Sinai Peninsula in 1956, following an invasion by British, French and Israeli troops aimed at seizing the Suez Canal from Egypt. Canada's foreign minister at the time, Lester Pearson, proposed the intervention at the United Nations. Of an emergency international United Nations force. He was later awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. Since then, UN peacekeeping troops have patrolled many other conflict zones, with Canadian forces often in a lead role. Peacekeeping became crucial to how Canadians view their country. Canada is a middle power country. It sought to find a role for itself in the international community. Um, being a, a enforcer or a colonizer is not something that's, um, that's inherent in the Canadian nature, but to be an honest broker, to do some good in the world, to offer the services to development and to peace. Yet Canada largely withdrew from UN operations because of cuts to the military budget and as Canadian forces helped fight the Taliban in Afghanistan. What type of uh, impact? Now a government elected late last year is to send 600 troops to UN missions in Africa. Look at where the Canadian. A reminder of how important previous missions have been in this park north of Toronto. A plaque with the names of hundreds who lost their lives serving under the UN flag. Taking part in UN peacekeeping is something many Canadians have long been proud of, and you can see it here in this carefully tended memorial. But there are blemishes on the country's record, and some of them just could be overshadowing the latest plans to join global United Nations deployments. Several policemen from Quebec who'd been serving in Haiti are among many UN peacekeepers accused of sexual misconduct. Two retired before they could be punished. Activists say it's unacceptable that the officers haven't been identified. When people in Canada are accused of sexual crimes uh, that are against the law, certainly their names are plastered all over the newspapers. That's true in most countries in the world. But the secretive nature of what happens in peacekeeping operations is, is universal, and that has to stop. The Canadian government says training and awareness will be central to future participation in UN missions and personnel will be held to the highest standards. The country that helped found UN peacekeeping 60 years ago is recommitting itself to wearing the blue helmet. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Toronto.